Hello and welcome to the first Elon Local News online exclusive of the 2018-2019 school year. I'm Brian Ray. And I'm Alex Hager. Today was the first day of college classes for the class of 2022. Here's a look at how they're feeling about the start of their freshman year. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I was but nervous I before I got here and now we're moving in. So I'm like, I just want to start. Like, yeah. I'm so ready. So, I don't know. I'm yeah. excited. More excited than nervous now. People have been telling me I'd probably be nervous and everything, but I'd say I'm excited more than anything, you know. So. Me too. I thought I'd be a little bit more nervous than I am, but just being here right now, everything feels really comfortable and I'm excited to see what goes on. Just honestly getting to know everyone. Yeah, meeting new like, people and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I come from a really small town, so this is like brand new for me. Cool. We're excited. Yeah. yeah, we're excited. Yeah, I'm more excited than anything. Uh, it'll be a new start for both of us just because we've traveled so far. And yeah, looking forward to it. So what exactly makes up the class of 2022? We have it by the numbers. This year, there are just over 1,700 students in the freshman class. This is an 8% increase compared to the class of 2021. And if you're wondering what those freshmen are majoring in, psychology, finance, and marketing make up the top three. Finally, when it comes to diversity, 18% of the class identifies as Asian American, Latinx, Black, Native American, or multiracial, which is a 2% drop from the class of 2020. That drop in diversity does not align with the school's goals, but Vice President of Campus Engagement Randy Williams says he's still optimistic. What that means for Elon, though, that, does that mean that we're going to stop uh, pursuing students of color? Absolutely not. We're just going to continue with this initiative, this priority for us, seek ways that we can attract and enroll those students into the university, because it not only helps those particular students of color, I mean, it enriches this entire community. For more statistics, including how many states and countries the class of 2022 is from, visit our website at elonnewsnetwork.com and search 2022 numbers. After a slow summer, business owners in downtown Elon are breathing a sigh of relief that students are back. Arcelina Guevara spoke to a few owners about how their profits were affected by a virtually empty campus. With school starting tomorrow, business is booming again for the Oak House in downtown Elon. Owner Phil Smith says this week is a stark contrast from the summer months. On Friday, it's like opening up a fire hydrant. I mean, we'll deposit more money on Monday than we do in, I'll say, the month of July. Phil says his summer sales make up only 10% of the profit. A drastic drop because his business caters specifically to students. During the school year, there's about 5,600 students on campus. But over the summer, we estimate that number drops to around 300. Next door at Pandora's Pies, owner Peter Eustack says their summer sales dropped by 60%. Not as dramatic as the Oak House because the pizza place welcomes a change in clientele over the summer. Uh, we get a ton of locals, you know. A lot of people prefer not to come to Elon when the students are here. It's hard to park. Um, Elon students can get rowdier and uh, make it a little tougher to bring a family in to eat. So. Uh, they appreciate coming in the summertime when they have the place to themselves. To survive the summer, the businesses employ fewer staff and cut down on store hours. So we just kind of scale back on everything. And to supplement sales, Pandora sold concessions at a local pool, while the Oak House sometimes closed for private events. We, we couldn't close for, for a Saturday during the school year. Now, it's back to business as usual. We are glad to see everybody back. I will say that. Here's you. Selena Guevara. All right, enjoy. Have a good day. Elon Local News. In contrast to the summer months, the business owners say the busiest times of year are move-in, parents weekend, and homecoming. And coming up this week at Elon, Black Student Success Week kicks off tonight with a discussion on Black Panther. It begins tonight in the Center for Race, Ethnicity, and Diversity Education at 7 p.m. Also tonight, the women's volleyball team takes on North Carolina A&T, their first game in the Shar Center. Entry is free with a student ID and starts at 7 p.m. And Elon's annual organization fair is this Friday. Organizations will have tables around Young Commons beginning at 4 p.m. That's all the news we have for you today. Thanks for joining us. And for all the news you need to know, check out our website at elonnewsnetwork.com. And don't forget to pick up a copy of The Pendulum tomorrow in newsstands around campus. Have a great first week, Elon.